Cubs are six and nine. Nice. All right, you may have noticed I skipped the Milwaukee series. The reason I skipped the Milwaukee series is simply because there wasn't really much to talk about. Yeah, it's nice that they're kind of a rivalry sparking back up between the two teams, but we were, we still sucked, and I don't care about the rivalry. I'd rather care about how good we are as a team, and we, we sucked. We sucked. So going on to the Brave series, we still sucked, but there was some uh, some good trends there. If you look at that second game, we won 13-4 before we losing the next game 13-4. And one thing I want to point out here is that we're actually starting to hit the ball a little bit. Not only did Wilson Contreras have four home runs, Anthony Rizzo had two home runs in that last game. I think Baez had a home run. Chris had a home run. I think Bodie had a home run. We're starting to hit the ball better. And I'm not too upset about the big loss there at 13-4 because it's obvious Kyle Hendricks just didn't have it. Kyle Hendricks is known for being a guy that doesn't give up hard contact, and he gave up pretty much four straight 100 mile an hour contacts right from the beginning. It was obviously he wasn't he didn't have it. We gave up a big lead, and that was it. It feels kind of weird because I feel like I'm already kind of done talking about the series. Well, the next series against the Mets, I uh, don't really know what to expect here at all. The Mets have only played like five games or something. They haven't played many games, have they? Because the whole COVID mess. I guess I should talk about the studs and duds from the last uh, few, both series actually. We're going to give the studs to Wilson Contreras. It's kind of nice because he, I was very low on him recently and then all of a sudden he hits four or five straight games with home runs. No idea where that came from. Hopefully he keeps that up. I don't know if he will. I don't think he will. I think he's still kind of just swinging wildly and he just happened to get a, a hold of one or two of them, kind of like what Baez is doing. But if he can keep it up, man, then the results are going to speak for themselves. The dud for the Brave series is definitely going to be Kyle Hendricks. He just, that first inning, he gave up six runs. That's pretty much, when you give up six runs that early, man, that is demoralizing. Even when you do score runs in the next inning. As for the Milwaukee series, the dud is going to be the whole, um, the whole team. The whole the whole offensive team, I should say. And the MVP of the Brewer series, I, I don't know. I didn't watch it that much. It's kind of hard to watch. When they're really when they're playing that bad, I'm kind of hoping that when eventually Nico Horner gets called up, that the team will kind of turn around. We're missing a guy that it just hits for contact. All our guys right now are hitting power, 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 power. Don't know why they're all hitting for power, but they are. And yes, Ian Happ's doing a fantastic job at being a leadoff guy. We need a contact guy, and I think Nico Horner is probably the best shot we have there. And I don't know why he's not starting anyway. Like, why is he, why is he not be on the MLB squad? That, that was a dumb decision. Oh uh, yeah, there's really not much else to talk about besides the fact that we suck, but our hitting's starting to look better. And if our pitching is good, if our pitching goes back to where they were, yes, they had a bad series, but if it goes back to what they were doing, we'll, we'll win more games. Hopefully we're not a 500 team at the trade deadline. If we are, man, we, we're probably going to be trading everybody. I, I expect Kimbrell and Bryant to both be gone for sure. I don't know if uh, if Baez has much trade value and it's hard to say we'll get rid of Rizzo. Uh, I feel like if out of all the four, he's the one guy that you kind of you kind of pick because just because of the leadership. It'd be like if Ernie Banks wasn't a Chicago Cub. It just feels wrong. Anyway, we'll get on to the uh, New York Mets series here next. Short video today. Sorry, there's just not much to talk about right now. It's still very early. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, continue uh, next time. See ya.